Hey, Paul, so good to see you. Hi, Sharon. Hey, and congratulations on last night. I tell you, that show, The Wiz, was phenomenal. We were glued to the TV, tweeting and <laughs> singing along. I actually had to stop singing because I think my coworkers getting annoyed with me because <laughs> I was singing so much. But those costumes were amazing. Tell right. me about your experience last night. It was just incredible. It was so incredible. I was actually backstage uh, just making sure that every, everything was going smoothly as people went out. Um, and the energy backstage was just so exciting. I and mean, everyone was uh, beside, beside themselves um, to be doing the, uh, the broadcast. Uh, and everything went very smoothly. So I was uh, incredibly happy. And the costume's phenomenal. I mean, people are raving about it. So tell me, what goes into creating these costumes? Now, you made the comments that the costumes of the Wiz could have really been almost anything. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, when we entered into, uh, you know, deciding how we were going to create the world of Oz, uh, basically how we were going to tell the story of Dorothy and, and uh, you know, all that is The Wiz. Um, Kenny Leon, the director, uh, said that he was, it, it, the most important thing for him was that we uh, see Dorothy as a, a teenager of today. Um, so uh, ev all of the refer reference points then come back to her. Uh, so when we go into Munchkin Land, it's something that uh, she, you know, some amalgamation of images that she's pulled together, possibly online or uh, experiences that, that she's had and her own imagination. Um, and I think that for everything, for Emerald City, the same thing. So in doing that, I think that it created a very hip uh, quality to the piece and so, so that it's a, a, a whiz production of 2015. Right, definitely. Dorothy was very modern, but however, then the poppies and, and going to Emerald City, very whimsical almost. How do you, in your mind, create and come up with these ideas? Um, I pull from images of, from all over. I mean, in the same way that Dorothy might. I mean, I, I go online and uh, call research uh, from other periods or from today. A lot of high fashion, uh, because there's a lot of really exciting fashion, uh, very edgy fashion going on right now. Um, and uh, then just with my own experience, you know, pu pulling it together and, you know, I, I, I show the images to the director and to the set designer. We come together and uh, figure out a world that jibes uh, for all of us, you know, that, that works for all of us. Uh, and then I go away and do drawings, at first just black and white and then color. Uh, and once they're approved, I start to pull together all of my, uh, my fabrics. I mean, I have a, uh, a group, a team uh, of two assistants and two interns for this production. Um, so all of us together are out there on the street looking for fabrics, uh, shopping for clothing if we need to. Uh, and then we head into doing fittings. I and mean, we probably had close to 10 shops, 10 costume shops building costumes for this production. And we've been working since, um, I would say, the be beginning of June. And you are very hands-on. I know once you make these sketches, you like to actually go and, and find the fabric yourself so you can feel it and actually kind of visualize the whole creation come together. And you did that again, for, I'm assuming, for The Wiz as well. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, that, that's actually how I started, you know, that, that yeah, I, 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 I've been telling people that I did a production of The Wiz, I designed the costume for The Wiz when I was in high school, I was a junior yes. in high school. I remember hearing about that. <laughs> I was building costumes at our kitchen table with my mom, and uh, I also ended up playing The Wiz as well, but uh, it, I've always uh, been, been, you know, interested in working with my hands and building costumes and uh, puppets, and so now that uh, I'm a professional, you know, I use this, the same skills that I have, uh, and and most of that is in directing other people and supervising other people uh, as to what I want and what's in the sketch. Um, so you know, I I do very little uh, stitching anymore or or you know building. Anymore. Right, so now you put your final stamp on the creations once they're completed. Very good. And going back to how it is somewhat personal for you, because yes, at Bookdale High School in Akron, you played the Wiz and created all those costumes. Tell me, how has your ideas evolved since back then in the 80s? Well, obviously, they've become much more sophisticated. You know, it's, uh, the, I, I, <laughs> I think that I would be embarrassed to 
to show, you know, some of some of the uh, costumes that were from that production. Uh, <laughs> but it was a start, you know. I think sure. that, you know, every, everybody needs to start someplace. Um, and uh, it, just with all, you know, every experience, every production that I've done, um, uh, you know, every Broadway production that I've done, uh, I am able to work a different muscle around how to design costumes. Um, so, you know, if, if I've worked on, say, a production that has light-up costumes uh, on a, a, you know, a, a different musical, then I uh, use what I learned from that and I uh, apply it to uh, the next musical. Um, you know, for, for The Wiz, it was Glinda and, you know, all, all, and also Emerald City and all the electronics that we had working uh, into their costumes. Um, as well, you know, it's... Uh, did I lose you? No, I'm here. Okay. Uh, it, it's um, the, the way that things are built. I mean, I'm, I'm always, uh, you know, in awe of people who build costumes well. And uh, I can direct them as to how I see the fit and what I want for the silhouette to be. But they uh, really carry through and, and make the costumes come to life. And you talk about how some of you, you use some of your previous costumes and some inspirations from all over the place. I have to talk about the lion because I am partial to the lion because okay. we have the bust of the Rasta in our house that we got from Jamaica that was part of your inspiration for the lion on the Wiz. I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> and you know, the Who knew? of, of uh, uh, you know, the, the use of, of dreads for the lion seems like a you know a natural application uh, because of the silhouette and what that creates with a human's head, and the fact that it feels very current. You know, so uh, that was that that was our main way of making the lion a more updated lion. Right, really cool. And some of the comments on social media, they came flooding in. Paul's work is brilliant. Paul is a genius. The costumes were gorgeous and imaginative. He has to win an Emmy for this production. The Wiz was wonderful. Somebody else says his costumes are genius. I admire his, uh, his vision and his skill. And I would have been satisfied with 10% of his creativity. I mean, that's phenomenal to know that you could have done 10% of what you, done, what you did and people still would have been amazed. Yeah, that makes me feel really great. Yeah. Really great. You do a fabulous job. All right, so it doesn't stop here. You are constantly busy. The Wiz is going on Broadway, so that is also one of your babies as well, huh? Can't wait. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I've got Hamilton going on right now on Broadway, which is very, very successful, mm -hmm. and I'm very proud of that work. And uh, the same with The Wiz, now that we've aired. Um, you know, I think that uh, it will be a, an even more exciting production on Broadway. I agree. And speaking of Hamilton, Lin-Manuel, a couple months ago, he said that you are a national treasure. And I think having seen The Wiz and Hamilton and all these other productions that you put on, I, I have to agree with him. So we're very proud of you, Paul. And you're doing a wonderful job. Keep doing what you do. And we appreciate it. We love you very much. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Thank you so much. Nope. Love you, too. All right. You take care. And I'm going to get some pictures from mom about The Wiz from high school. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs>